It's Firestream again. Uh, welcome back to another getting started video. This time I want to talk about the warp drive and uh, show you how to install it, show you what it does, and show you how useful it is. I would say the warp drive is probably one of the most used systems in the entire game. When you first start out you don't have it and it's highly recommended that you get it right away. So here I am, I'm out here in space, and I've already done all of the, uh, the part fetching that's needed to build the warp drive. So I don't want to waste your time trying to show you all that. But again, I'll just remind you that you can click on warp drive and get to the recipe and, and you'll see that you need crystals and a cool chamber. Crystals are found throughout uh, the galaxy and the cool chamber is created from some other uh, very common parts. So I've already taken care of getting everything I need to build the warp drive. And I actually have constructed the item and it's in my inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and use it to install it. So yes, all right, let's go back to Galaxy. Now right below uh, the grid, you'll see I now have warp drive. So what happens when I activate the warp drive? Well, when you hit uh, activate, you'll get a, uh, an XY coordinate and you can actually type in a location that you want to uh, go to. Um, also, the system actually provides you some, uh, some preset locations, uh, all three of which are very, very important to the game and all three of which I will probably make a separate video for uh, very soon. Today I will talk about the neutral zone though and I'll show it to you. So what I can do is I actually can type in a, a coordinate, so we could type in one, two, three, I don't know, minus one, two, three, and we hit uh, make it so. And now we have warped to one, two, three, minus one, two, three, abouts. The warp takes you close to the point that you put in, not exactly the point, very, very close. So you can imagine that makes getting around the uh, galaxy very, very convenient and easy. However, your warp has a cooldown, and uh, by default it's 15 minutes, and so I can't use it again for 15 minutes unless I spend a few tokens to sort of push the cooldown. Uh, tokens are acquired through a whole bunch of different ways. Uh, each time you level up or each time you get an achievement, you'll have some tokens. And uh, certain fleets have tokens that they can give you as well. So tokens are fairly easy to get. Uh, you can buy them from the game to help support the development as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and push our warp so we can use it again. And uh, so I used some tokens and now I've, I've got my, uh, my warp system back activated again. Alright, so we're out here in the middle of nowhere. Let's go to the neutral zone real quick and I'll show you what that's all about. Alright, so the neutral zone is the only safe place in the galaxy uh, in that... Um, no one can attack you or hurt you in this zone. Uh, you'll see there's a lot of ships kind of hanging out in here. There's some stations, some gates. There's all kinds of stuff that people have built and kind of fortified around the neutral zone. And if you sit in the neutral zone, it will actually cost you 10 tokens per hour. Um, so I've got about 13 hours worth of tokens. If I stay in the neutral zone beyond that, I'll actually start to lose uh, hit points and then slowly uh, get destroyed. So you don't want that to happen. But the neutral zone is a great place to do uh, trade deals with other players um, or just hang out if you have the tokens. Uh, let's see. So pretty much that's all there is to it. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time in here because I don't have um, the tokens to spend. Uh, but this is the neutral zone and I will probably make some more videos about it in the near future. That's pretty much it for the warp drive. Uh, it's real simple, it's really easy to use, it's uh, a little bit of a challenge to get, but there are some quests that help you along the way to do that, and I'm sure if you ask in the uh, chat that players will be willing to help you out too uh, with some of the pieces that you might need. So that's it for this video, and I'll be back again very soon with another system video, and uh, I look forward to uh, doing another one, and hope you enjoy the game. Thanks a lot.